What up YouTube? Welcome back. In this video I want to talk for a brief moment about something that happened really recently, alright, really recently. <laughs> um, and that is the Reggie Bush and his Armenian son situation. Alright, um, I found out about this from a uh, YouTube user Lovely T. She did a video on it and I watched it and I was like, oh, Okay, <clears throat> but apparently some people, particularly black social media, is upset that Reggie Bush, you know, the football player, he referred to his son as Armenian instead of, I guess, referring to his son as black or perhaps biracial or black and Armenian. He just said his Armenian son. And this upset some people. And I have kind of like two points of views on this. And they're the opposite points of views. <laughs> they're opposite of each other. So I'm going to go into my first one and then afterwards I'll go into my second one. All right. On one hand, I can see where some people are coming from. Where it's like, well, you know, you're black. So wouldn't you kind of refer to your children as black, considering that based on the system that we're in, black people are sort of given that option when, you know, racist mix with black to refer to their children as black, right? And, you know, I can, on one hand, I kind of get where some people are coming from, where it's like, hey, you know, it seems like you're not really acknowledging the black side of your child, and you're black. So it may make some people have give Reggie Bush the side eye, right? Because it's like, hey, you know, hmm. And it may be like a red flag for other signs, like, okay, so how do you feel about blackness since, you know, the mother of your child isn't black, you don't really refer to your child as black, and you don't really seem to associate, you know, don't really have a history of associating with black women. So, you know, I can understand some people like, oh, you know, how do you feel about black people? <laughs> you know? On the other hand, though, it makes me think, okay, why does this upset us as the community so much? Not necessarily me, because I was like, oh. I just kind of was like, that's interesting. I didn't feel the need to drag him, you know. You know, interesting, you know, a bit of a side eye, you know. <clears throat> but why do we as a community, why did we react the way that we did when Reggie Bush referred to his son as Armenian? Which... Technically, his son does have a claim to, I guess, Armenian-ness, because his mom's Armenian, right? I mean, on the flip side, if he referred to his child as black, would these same people be upset? Or would, I'll put it like this. If, we, if he referred to his child that he had with this Armenian woman as strictly black, do you think the Armenian community would jump up and, you know, react like this, like black people did? Hmm. For some reason, I don't see that happening. And why? Why do you think that wouldn't happen, you know? And I think it's just because Armenian people are just in a position where they're just like, we can take it or leave it, or either we'll rather leave it. Right? They don't feel the need to really just, you know, claim people who are reminiscent of them, I guess. You know, they don't feel the need to claim any and everybody under the sun who has some adjacency to Arminianness. You know, they don't feel that way. But why do we feel that way, though, as black people? Because it seems like that's where it's leaning towards. Like, we're just like, 
uh, you know, we kind of claim this guy, you know. <clears throat> and then on the other hand, it's like, there probably are some black people. I feel like these are the minority, though, or these people are in the minority, um, where some black people would be like, well, okay, you know, it's like, if he referred to his child as black, and this child is part black and part Armenian, then it's like, well, if you wanted a black child, why not have a child with someone who's black? If you want to refer to your child as black and you're just like, no, my child, my child is black full stop. You know, he just has an Armenian. If he was like that, then some people would have issues with that too, right? Um, because it's like some people, and I've done videos about this, you know, calling this out, where some people want to date outside the community, but when it comes to their children, they want to give their children the black identity, even though the child doesn't have two black parents. So they want to date outside of the community, but get all the benefits of someone who dated inside of the community without having to deal with none of the downside of, you know, you know, sticking it out and fighting for black love, you know, that sort of, you know, dealing with, you know, that struggle that sometimes it can be, you yeah. know. And obviously, you know, it looks like Reggie Bush has a type and, you know, he looks like he's into Armenian women, right? I guess, you know, I don't know if he dated Armenian women before Kim Kardashian, but if not, I guess Kim Kardashian, you know, really, you know, introduced him to something that, you know, he just couldn't go without. <laughs> like, she turned him out, right? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but in regards to Kim Kardashian, I kind of feel like Reggie Bush is sort of her, you know, the one that got away, you know, for her. Um, and I think Reggie Bush, if he could have married Kim Kardashian, I think he probably would have. But, you know, Kim Kardashian ended up going to Kanye West while she was still in a relationship with Reggie Bush. Yeah. And also, um... Amber, um, Kanye West, when he was in a relationship with Amber Rose, wind up going to Kim Kardashian. So they both were in relationships when they got together. Hmm. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. Um, but I'll say that I think Reggie Bush at least has s some common sense. And I'll s explain where I'm coming from with that. It looks like he wants an Armenian child or, you know, a child that it perhaps has some approximation to non-blackness, right? So, therefore, he is dating someone who is Armenian, who hasn't, uh, who is uh, non-black. Since he wants an Armenian child, he will date someone and have a child with a woman who is Armenian, right? Wouldn't that make sense if you would, like, if I wanted... Well, I won't say me, but if someone wanted, like, an Asian child or um, a Middle Eastern child or a white child, like, wouldn't it just make more sense to date that person? But sometimes with black people, sometimes, seems like they want to date these people, have children with these people, marry all that good stuff, but claim the black identity still. But it's like, okay, like I mentioned before, if you want a black child, why not have it with a black person? I know that's I know that's just crazy. That is just insane to think like that. I know, you know, very radical, you know, very controversial. Black people having children with black people to have black or black people having children together <laughs> yeah. but um, you know long story short is this anything new you know a lot of times some black men like to put it on black women that uh, you know they want the light skin babies with good hair 
all right? And I did a whole video about that, calling that out, all right? I did a whole video about that. But as you can see, a lot of these dudes are on that light skin baby with good hair tip too, though. I ain't saying all of them. I'm saying, you know, uh, a few, some. <laughs> it's, it just ain't the ladies. It just ain't the it's just ain't the women. Uh, it just ain't the women here. <clears throat> I feel like the women are probably a bit more upfront about it, while the guys are a bit more low key about it. Right? They do it on the low. They just don't verbalize it. But it's still at work, mentally speaking, though. Um, and. I think I'll, you know, I think I'll bring this video to a close for the moment. I feel like this video should continue, but I'm going to continue on in another video where I'm going to address um, Neo's wife's comment about their son's hair texture. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I'll see you in that video. Until then, adios and goodbye for now. And by the way, leave comments. Tell me what you think. You think Reggie is wrong for referring to his child as strictly Armenian? Do you think he re should refer to his child as strictly black? Should he refer to his child as both black and Armenian? How does this go? And also, sidebar, this is kind of like a reason this is kind of where things get tricky when you start mixing races and stuff like that, right? This is where it really starts to get tricky and things start to really get interesting. All right. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.